Today we're looking at an ILG self-cooled motor fan from the early mid 40s. It's a model 103, which is a 10 inch model. This particular fan um, for a type Q is a little bit earlier. Uh, the way the blade is designed, you can see that it has three separate wings that are uh, riveted to the central hub. Where the later models of these 103s, you'll see a one piece stamped blade. The whole thing is completely just one stamped piece of metal. It's a little bit thicker aluminum. And also the motor on this is an earlier design. It is a design that has a sleeve bushing in the front and the rear with the rotor located in between. And the later models of these fans you'll notice have a, a rear located sleeve bushing and the rotors to the front. Um, this one also, the blade is only nine and a half inches, the actual diameter of it, where the later models were fully 10 inch diameter blades. So I'm not sure why Ill made these nine and a half instead of 10, but um, that's how this particular one is. I have three other 103 models, and the other three have a different, they have the one piece blade on them. So this is the only one in my collection like this. And if anyone else out there has has one of these like this or have seen them or know anything, uh, any more information about them, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And we're going to start this fan up and hear it. Hear its uh, startup sound and hear it run. down time. This one has a little bit shorter coast down time than the later models. I think it's partially due to the difference in weight of the blade. This has a thinner gauge blade on it, so it's less mass rotating. Uh, could also have to do with differences in the motors with the different bushing designs that they have. But um, anyway, this is the ILG Model 103. Thank you for watching.